Just a few weeks, the documentary Border Cowboys will be screening at the South Texas International Film Festival. Yeah, this documentary focuses on the Porter High School soccer team. Our Bella Michaels caught up with the creator and those in it to talk about the impact of Border Cowboys. Jose Sanchez is a photojournalist and documentary filmmaker. His work in the Valley started seven years ago. A lot of people that don't live here have a certain view of what the Valley, the border is like. And I don't really see it like that. Sanchez wanted to show people another side to the valley. He decided to focus on the struggles students and their families go through near the border. I always felt like we weren't doing enough in, in covering the people that actually live here. So he made a documentary. The idea came from a short story on the Gladys Porter High School soccer team in 2021. During that job, he found his subject. Summer, I was sitting at home and like, you know, this could be that story that I've been looking for. From there, he reached out to the head soccer coach, Jose Espitia, and proposed his documentary idea. By November of 2021, he began working on the documentary, Border Cowboys. It's not easy being a, a recorded like 90% or 70% of the time, even in the locker rooms. For eight months straight, Sanchez followed the team through their highs and lows of the season. They spent five to six hours together daily. Although they were fighting to bring back a state title to Porter, it wasn't just about soccer. We struggled for so many obstacles, like people crossing from Mexico and back every day. Others not, not having to go see their families in Mexico because they're here and they don't have papers and stuff. Jose Mateos faced another challenge. He was born in Mexico and couldn't go back home to see his family. He has DACA status now. Throughout his final soccer season, his goal was to find a way to afford college after graduation. It was frustrating for me and my family because um, since I've been here, uh, we've talked about going, to, uh, telling me that I have to go to college. Now he's studying civil engineering at UTRGV. Mateos hopes this documentary motivates other immigrant youth. Immigrant students can, can actually be uh, a full part of the society and they don't, they're not like less than anyone and they're equal. Now one year after its debut, Border Cowboys is nominated for three Lone Star Emmys. I'm just happy that, that uh, people have gotten to see the story of, of the Border Cowboys and, and of the Southmost community. You know, that, that grit, that hardworking spirit that people in, in Brownsville have and in the Valley in general. The documentary will be screening at the South Texas International Film Festival in Edinburgh on September 16th. In Brownsville, Bella Michaels, Channel 5 News.